Purposeful practice is the intentional desire to improve a skill, rather than just repeating a performance over and over, which is termed naive practice, in which repetition does not lead to effective learning. There are five principles behind purposeful practice, according to Erickson and Poole. These are breaking down the main goal of learning a skill into smaller sub-goals, receiving high-quality feedback, providing yourself sufficient time to practice, pushing yourself beyond your comfort zone, and giving the task your full focus. So how is purposeful practice different from deliberate practice? Deliberate practice involves six principles involving most of the elements of purposeful practice. These include establishing a plan to achieve a series of goals, receiving high quality feedback, practicing just beyond what you can currently achieve, and applying full focus to the task. Unlike purposeful practice, deliberate practice also involves the use of expert knowledge where experts in the field have already worked out the best method and order for learning, in addition to hiring a good instructor who can develop the practice plan and provide feedback. While Erickson and Poole suggest that deliberate practice is the most effective and efficient approach for learning a skill, it is not always an option. For example, meet Weiwei. She would like to learn how to juggle a three-ball cascade as a party trick. However, Weiwei does not know anything about juggling, nor know anyone who juggles. She is without an expert with a tried and tested method of learning juggling, and the critical feedback an expert would give. Therefore, the most appropriate method for Weiwei to teach herself juggling skills is by using purposeful practice techniques. The first principle of purposeful practice is to set yourself a goal and devise a plan of smaller, more achievable steps to reach the goal. Weiwei plans to be able to juggle competently by the middle of December in six weeks' time, to be ready for the Christmas party season. Weiwei thinks if she can have the basic skills learnt in a week, then she will have plenty of time to practice. Weiwei breaks down the time scale to six daily sub-goals. For example, her first goal is to get comfortable throwing a ball from one hand to the other. Then her goals will increase in difficulty incrementally until she can effectively juggle three balls at a time. Now that Weiwei has a plan for achieving her goals, she must think of how to receive quality feedback on her progress. While there are no expert jugglers to provide quality feedback to Weiwei, she could ask her friends to provide feedback on her progress and to identify her weaknesses. This will allow Weiwei to devise ways to overcome her weaknesses while motivating her to improve. The third principle of purposeful practice is allowing yourself adequate time to practice. If Weiwei fails to make the time to practice her juggling skills regularly, she will not be able to retain the skills that she is attempting to learn, and she will not make a very good impression at the party. The fourth principle of purposeful practice is pushing beyond your comfort zone. Erickson suggests that this is the key to improving a skill, as forcing the brain to adapt to higher levels of performance will lead to the body adjusting to this elevated performance state as the new normal through the repurposing of neurons. The fifth and final principle of purposeful practice is focus. Weiwei needs to give the learning of the skill of juggling her full attention. Her brain will adapt to create, step by step, the ability to do things previously she thought impossible. This is achieved by focusing attention on her performance to push the boundaries of her abilities to do and experience things she has not already experienced. Her brain uses neuroplasticity to create and strengthen existing neural connections and weaken others. This will allow her brain to adapt gradually to the new experiences until they become the new normal. Now, Weiwei will amaze everyone at the Christmas party, all thanks to purposeful practice.